Good afternoon, fellow Plexers. Today we're going to help Joe get a documentary into his movie collection, and his issue is naming of the media. And it really isn't um, a big issue, except that it's an obscure movie that's not listed at TMDB and is only listed at IMDB and he's not able to force the film into his Plex server with fixed match. So you have to rely on the source code from either IMDB or TMDB. Now I do everything out of the TMDB database unless I am forced to use an IMDB source ID. So this is Plex's instructions at their movie naming guide. You have to put it in curly braces. You have to uh, define your source dash and then the database ID number. So I've um, shown this support article a lot in past videos. So the problem is this documentary is listed at IMDB but not at the movie database. There's nothing here. It may be down the road at some point but right now there's nothing. And the biggest issue is that Plex scrapes both of these databases for their latest movie scanner. And they combine information from both in a secret sauce way. Well, if you've been around long enough, you'll know that your posters are coming from TMDB and not IMDB. But that doesn't mean that IMDB isn't used in Plex's scanner. So if we go to popular here, and let's just pick Dune, it's right in front of us. All your poster choices come from um, this, this database. I'm losing words, I'm sorry. No poster choices come from IMDB. All right, so just remember that Plex scrapes both those databases um, and combines metadata when it brings your movie in after a match. So this is just a little dummy file. It's not the actual documentary. It's very small. Let me start it. One, two, three. Test, one, two, three. So I have this file duplicated under different test names so I can just plug it in to try a naming scheme for someone who's having issues adding a movie. So if I right click it and I do a typical file bot rename with it, I can rename to either TMDB and add structure or just a rename or IMDB with structure. So let me just rename to TMDB. Filebot can't find anything because it's not listed at TMDB. Let me try it again with rename only from the IMDB data source in Filebot. Filebot's still not finding it, and I don't know exactly why, but it's, it's an obscure listing. So all I did was use the TT database number in curly braces like Plex tells us to. Um, so I have the proper name of the movie. I've, I've eliminated the colon that I think was after days. And of course, there's no underscores or periods to replace natural spaces. And I've added the IMDB um, source ID to the folder name. Now, I've also added it to the file name. It's probably not needed. It's just a habit I've gotten into. But let's try it without it. Let's try just the source ID in the folder. All right, so let me bring this over and I'll bring the web app over. This is my test server made up of public domain media and I'm in the documentary movie library. So let me take that and paste it in here. And we'll see what happens. We'll see if Plex automatically scans and finds it. It did, but there's no cover artwork. 
If I click into it, it's got the director's name and it's got cast and crew. And again, as mentioned earlier, Plex pulls the cover posters and the background posters from the movie database and until this movie is listed in the movie database, you won't have artwork unless you design your own for it. So if I go in and edit for the poster, there's nothing there and there's nothing for the background. So unfortunately, the, the, the best thing is just to start with a proper structure. If a movie doesn't match, you should add your source ID to the folder name. It really is the long way around to go through fix match. And you probably could have added the source ID here, but that's not working out for Joe. Let me do this once more. Um, and possibly just putting that exact title in might search for it with a fix match, but fix match is like a last resort that no one should use. Naming the media properly brings in into Plex each and every time. And the source ID is what you need to do. And you can mix and match. You can you can use the TMDB source ID for everything, but you'll you'll come across a few movies once in a blue moon that are not listed at TMDB that are only listed at IMDB. So even my, my wonderful Filebot expressions wouldn't handle this one, but you can add that source ID manually. By default, I put it into the file name too. You don't need to, it really only needs to be in the folder name. So Joe, I hope this helps you and um, let me know if it doesn't.